Hello everyone and welcome to the games for today I'm going to be doing a video on Super Smash Bros Ultimate which comes out on the Nintendo Switch on December 7th 2018 which is tomorrow and I can't believe it's tomorrow because that that date that's been ingrained into my mind for like the last six months all I can think about is Smash I've just been really looking forward to it I've been really hyped for it and tomorrow I'm going to be able to play it and I just I just want to talk about it I want to do a video talking about it before it comes out and uh, I've been meaning to do this for quite a while I don't know if I sound excited or tired so I'm a little, a little bit of both to be honest uh, I've been really busy lately so I haven't been uploading to this gaming channel much but I've been uploading to the second channel Ahmed's Void so you can go check that out but yeah I mean I pre-ordered pre the game I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow I'm gonna play it all weekend should be should be a blast should be a great fantastic time can't wait at all i just like the <laughs> entirety of last weekend all i was thinking about is why isn't smash out i want to play smash um but yeah it's going to be out tomorrow which should be cool i just want to talk about it a bit um so first of all if you don't know what smash is what are you doing with your life number one but two uh smash is a uh, fighting game uh kind of like a it's not conventional as in it doesn't have health bars instead it has a percentage and how it works is that you have to try to knock the other fighter off the stage to win and the biggest like selling point of the game is that it has a huge range of Nintendo characters and as I am a, a huge Nintendo fanboy I love all like the Nintendo series or like lots of the big ones at least uh, it's, it's like the perfect game for me and I really like it and I really enjoy it and uh, yeah it's basically got just like tons of characters from all, all across Nintendo from like Mario to Pokemon to Zelda to Kirby to Donkey Kong to Kid Icarus to all sorts and uh, this this installment in the series is going to have the most characters out of any of the other uh, Smash games. It's going to have 74 characters which compared to the last game which had uh, 50 50 is still quite a lot of characters in my opinion but 74 that is like wow that is almost that's three three quarters away to 100 and 100 is a big number i don't know it's it's like really amazing to me because with smash every character has is un like a really unique move set to them and they all play really differently. Some are fast, some are slow, some are heavyweight, some are light, some are projectile attacks, some are more close range, some are more aerial, some work better on the ground, and they're all just like so different and they they all have really nice references and just like homages to their series. All like their moves are they aren't just like random moves, they're all kind of very specific to the games they came from, which is super cool. And just having such a huge range of characters is like the most exciting thing ever. When it was, um, so first of all, just like with this game in particular, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it was announced in kind of the March Direct, uh, the Nintendo Direct in March. It was just kind of dropped at the end of the Direct. We got a nice teaser of Splatoon Boy and Girl just like fighting and then the wonderful image of the Splatoon uh, inkling looking up at the fiery Smash logo and just seeing a reflection in that eye and then we knew, we all knew, there's a new Smash game we didn't know if it was a port or not turns out it isn't, it's a completely new game which I'm sure you already know but that was just, ooh, that was where the hype train began that was when all the exciting stuff began and uh, then again like in E3 2018 this year I did like a reaction to a lot of the E3 kind of stuff one of the things was the Nintendo Direct which was basically a Smash Direct almost all of it was focused on Smash and it just had a wonderful thing of showing all the characters were here every character from every previous installment of Smash will be in this new game it's going to be the ultimate edition going to be the perfect version with every character and yeah that's just amazing it's basically 
so it like brought back characters like Snake, Ice Climbers, Pichu, Pokemon Trainer, just like ev- anyone, like Wolf, uh, anyone from like previous games is basically going to be in this one. That's why 74 characters, that's like a, that's a huge amount, that's a pretty big amount to be honest, for a fighting game, that's like, there aren't that many fighting games with that many characters as far as I'm aware. Um, it's like almost close to um, amount of characters that a MOBA would have, it's like a League of Legends or something. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's just crazy how many characters it has. I have like a, a kind of just, I don't, I don't have a script in front of me, but I have a few kind of comparisons between this game and the previous installment, like Smash Wii U, Smash 4, um... I, I owned both copies of the Smash 4, I owned like 3DS and Wii U, and I think I, I logged like about 100 hours into each of them, just because oh, I, I just had so much fun playing that, that was the best thing, I've been playing it a bit more recently as well, just to get back into the swing of things, but yeah, anyway, comparison between those two games, like Smash uh, 4 had 50 characters, this has 74 characters, uh, that game had 61 stages, and now <laughs> this game, Ultimate's gonna have 108, which is just a crazy number of stages. I'd... That's so many stages, that's like more than enough. And um, the old game had 437 songs or music tracks. This one's gonna have, I think, 800 or more than 800. I think about 800 tracks. 800, that's insane. That is so much music, and I used uh, I used Smash 3DS, I think, for for the music player play a lot, just because I liked listening to kind of Nintendo OSTs and stuff, and all the remixes that the Smash soundtrack had, and uh, I could do the same with the Switch if I want. So that's just that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, and like obviously the um, music plays while you're playing the game. So yeah, that's just. Those three, just like, such a huge jump in characters and stages and songs, there's just so much more into this game, this, there's so much content in this game, it's just astounding, I really can't believe how much is in this game, like, I'm not trying to sell it to you or anything, I just, it's crazy to think that, like, there's like 74 characters and this many stages and this many stuff, and, um... For example, like Mar- Masahiro Sakurai is the creator of the Smash series, and he's like the the big guy at the top. Everyone loves him. He's the he's the main man for Smash, and he created Kirby as well, by the way. If you didn't know, um, and yeah, he's like put so much time into every installment of Smash, and like he's been he it's kind of like well known that he overworked himself for a lot of the previous games. And it's good that, like, you kind of heard that um, he hasn't done the same for this game. Because he just, like, he puts so much work and effort and love into these games. It's, like, insane. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just really cool that, like, this this is probably going to be the final Smash game I can see it being. Um, so, yeah, he just, like, I think he just wanted to make it the best thing for all fans. He gave them everything they wanted by adding every character and he just like he went above and beyond in so many ways basically so some of the other changes um from the smash 4 to this game is things like a squad strike mode which i think is um wait i have to check i uh, i don't know all the all the different modes because uh i haven't played it but like there's a squad strike mode which i think is like you choose multiple characters and you go up against another person who chooses the characters and you can uh almost like anonymously choose the order that those characters go in there's a smash down mode there's a final smash meter that you can add so that instead of getting the smash ball item to use your final smash you can just charge it up throughout the battle which is kind of cool there's stage morphing so that means some of the stages can like turn into another stage if you turn the toggle on there's you could turn on and off stage hazards why did i say it so weird stage hazards you could turn on and off stage hazards um you, there's like elite battles in online um the online should be really cool hopefully just because 
so many more people bought the Switch than the Wii U, so there's going to be a huge, much, huge uh, player base of people trying to play Smash. Hopefully, it like has a stable connection and stuff. And I don't consider myself like a really competitive player. I don't know everything about Smash. If you've seen my video of playing Smash, you'll probably be able to tell that I'm not that great, but I'm not that bad either. And I just like I don't know the thing. The great thing about this game in particular is that Sakurai just really listened to like the whole Smash community and he tried to make this game like the perfect thing for both casual players like me and really competitive players in the competitive scene like esports players and just tried to like make it the best for both worlds that is um it's he added loads of kind of technical tweaks like air dodging and making um shielding like he just he did loads of tweaks and stuff like that which are uh, help it make more competitive and also made it just like he added loads of stuff for fans that just make him more fun like stage morphing and stuff which is just that's a cool idea it makes the game more customizable makes the game more interesting makes it fresh and new um i haven't played it but I just that's why i assume i just i'm really excited for all these kind of new things that they're adding like one of the biggest differences between the, this game and the old games is the better graphics and like the fact that before it was kind of like separated where if you want to play smash on the go then you'd have to play with the 3ds version which is like kind of in comparison a lot inferior to the wii u version but it was still like very similar in a lot of ways and then if you want to play the game with the like hd better graphics and more content then you'd have to go to the wii u version now we have this like merge of the two where we can play the game that you just get the best of both worlds where you get the entire smash experience of all the content in hd and you can play it on your tv if you want or you can play it on the go and it's both hd that's just like it's the best thing about the switch isn't it it's, it's what the switch was made for it's perfect i love it I'm gonna, I'm gonna play so much Smash when it comes out, just because the fact that it's on the Switch makes it so much more accessible as well, just to play it wherever you want, and just, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than the fact that I'm excited. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I, I mentioned briefly, they added um this thing called Elite Battles as well, which uh, I don't know a whole lot about, but it's just like kind of cool, it seems like a reward for players who are really, really good, she probably isn't me, but um, basically they'll just be able to get like this kind of section of the online experience where they can play people who are on par with them. So that's kind of neat as well. One of the biggest things about this game, which is really cool, well, I'm not sure whether it's one of the biggest things, but it's like, what well, is is it was quite a big thing. It was like there's this mode that was like teased a little in one of the directs. It wasn't a lot, the most recent one. Um, in the direct before that, there was this blurred out green mode, and people kind of like decoded it, and it said spirits, and we were like, well, "What could this spirits mode be? What 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 does spirits mean? What what could this be?" And um, it turns out it's the story mode, which is awesome, and people have been wanting a story mode ever since Subspace Emissary, and it's just nice that we get that as well. It's not as um fleshed out as that; it doesn't have as many cutscenes, I don't think. But, um, it's just, yeah, it's really cool to have a stock, uh, actual, like, single-player campaign. Because, uh, obviously, again, Smash is, like, more of a multiplayer-focused game. But this game is gonna have just, like, the best of everything. It's gonna have multiplayer stuff online and local 8-player or 4-player or whatever you want. Customizable, anything you want. And, uh, then it's also gonna have a huge single-player campaign of this spirits mode uh called world of light and also obviously like stuff like classic and i don't think it's called all star anymore i think it's called like uh mob battles or something but either way there's like loads of single player stuff to do as well and uh yeah in the most recent direct we kind of just saw this world of light they went into kind of briefly just explaining how spirits work and it kind of seemed a bit kind of iffy but then at the end of the direct they showed this really cool trailer with a really cool cutscene 
um, of just all the characters kind of being captured by this mystical yellow, uh, white kind of light, this beam of light, and, uh, basically turning into, like, spirits or something, and Kirby has to save them all, and then we kind of saw this over Kirby traveling the overworld map and just being able to go on this cool story mode and stuff. And uh, what I've heard so far, story mode, like there's kind of mixed opinions on World of Light. I think I, I'm going to enjoy it to, uh, at least a bit, but it sounds like it was a bit kind of uh, stretched or repetitive a bit. But still, I'm, I'm just uh, happy there's a story mode. I'm happy there's a single player mode like as big as that, which is just, yeah, it seems really cool. Um, I guess I want to talk about a bit about, um, the most recent Smash Direct, because I didn't do a reaction to it like I did with some of the others, and I watched it, and I was just, uh, it was a bit underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a lot of people were kind of disappointed with it. I wasn't disappointed, I think I just, uh, I think people just had like high expectations strangely enough just because even if Smash, uh, even if Sakurai said hey we're not going to add that many new characters to this game, we, everyone just kind of like had their wish list secretly, they wanted their favourite characters and um, yeah the direct just didn't really deliver on like lots of the things that people wanted but it did explain a lot of other stuff really in depth and I really enjoyed it, I was just like I was too hyped for Smash to be that disappointed. I'm just really excited for it, and um, I was happy to see all the details that they covered. I understand that people like felt a bit disappointed, but my kind of take on it, my opinion, is that Smash has been like this huge roller coaster ride, this hype train that's been going on since March, or effectively started like properly, but since E3, because that's when we got to see like a lot about it, other than just the teaser. And just every direct since then has just been boom, huge announcement, boom, new character, boom this, boom that. And it's just been like really building up like every time it Smash Direct like tops each other. It just keeps getting better and better and better. So it kind of like uh, makes sense that eventually it was, it was going to be like kind of not as good as some of the other directs. Because uh, I think basically what I'm trying to say is that they didn't save their best for last, I think. I think they just kind of brought out all the big announcements early and then when they had this final direct, they didn't really have any huge characters. So they were just like, people were just a bit like, oh, I, I expected more. I wanted a huge character like all the others that we had. But we still have a, a ton of newcomers. We still have Ridley from the first E3. We have like... Uh, King K. Rool, we have Isabel, we have Simon Belmont and Victor Belmont, we have like all the Echo Fighters like Daisy and uh, there's a Fire Emblem one in there, I forgot, I'm not that, I, I, I just feel like there's a lot of Fire Emblem characters, I don't really remember all of them, but there was a Fire Emblem character I think, and um, Isabel, Isabel was another one, there's just like, there's so much new characters, there's so much new content, can't really find much reason to complain. I'm just, I know I'm gonna get this game. I know I'm gonna enjoy it. That's basically all I came out of the direct thinking. One crazy thing that happened was obviously the piranha plant reveal at the end of the trailer, which was so insane that I actually thought I was dreaming. I just didn't, I didn't get it or believe it at all. I mean, the, the character looks really fun to play. Piranha plant looks really fun to play and um, they made him like really creatively. Just no one expected him. <laughs> Out of all the characters people wanted, no one was expecting for an plant. And I, I know some people were like angry. I think I just found it funny because obviously like Sakurai just wanted to troll the fans a bit. Just wanted to have this one character to himself that he made. Um, no like fans kind of requested it. He just wanted to see how creative he could get with the character. And I appreciate that. That's fine. Um, one of the like main things that came of the most recent direct was that there's going to be DLC characters as well. So I've like I, I felt a bit weird with that. I had an opinion when I saw that was that obviously there was going to be 
DLC for Ultimate. I feel like that was kind of obvious that they're making such a big game for only like the standard price of like fifty pounds or sixty dollars or whatever that um they probably want to like make some extra content that people can buy on the side like they did with Smash Four. Um, I think it just felt weird that they announced the DLC so early that they like with the with the Wii U one. I feel I think. I don't know, did they announce DLC before the game came out? It just feels weird to, like, announce DLC before the game comes out. Because it just, like, DLC is meant to be add-on content and extra content. So, like, the game's finished, maybe, been out for a while. The the creators still want to support it and add new stuff to it. But just, like, uh, the whole, like, kind of iffy situation with DLC, which used to be debated a lot more until like loot boxes became a thing and that's way more controversial but people are kind of like wary of companies cutting off like parts of the game and like releasing it unfinished and then doing extra stuff as dlc either way uh i don't think that happened with this i think smash is still going to be like an amazing game uh whether you buy the dlc or not but um yeah i think it's just the main thing to come of that as well is just i'm really excited that there's going to be new characters as well. There's going to be even more than 74 characters. How? I don't know. This is crazy. How can there be more than 74 characters? I cannot I cannot fathom it. How would they even fit in? But um, that means like. If there were any characters that you were hoping for. Still a chance they can get in. I know some of the characters. I mean I'm really happy with the roster so far. Like. Everyone I would want to be in Smash is probably in Smash at the moment. I think um, I'm just I'm just really happy with how many characters there are. I didn't have like huge wishes that I really wanted to get in the game like some other people did, but um, I think there were just like lots of people like I would have found cool if they were in the game. Like I know everyone's everyone was still hoping for Gino for a while, and I think people have given up on hope of, for that. Um, people wanted, like, Banjo-Kazooie, I thought that would be kind of cool. Rayman would have been really cool, because, um, ever since, like, Artsy Omni made that fake leak of Rayman in Smash 4, I just, like, can't get that out of my mind. I feel like it would be really cool if Rayman got in Smash, and, like, Ubisoft and Nintendo have been getting on really well with, like, Mario and Rabbids is, like, an exclusive for Nintendo, so clearly they're those two companies are getting on well, I would expect that, I would have expected that Ubisoft could have slipped in a little bit of representation into Smash, but I don't know, um, so yeah, like, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Rayman, I think Shadow was, like, one that lots of people wanted, I think that would have been quite cool, I know one thing a friend told me was that apparently there's, like, a really big chance that, uh, a Persona character will get in the game just because like apparently Sakurai is a huge fan of uh, Persona and like there's like loads of evidence that shows that Persona a Persona character could get in the game so, Yeah, that's just really cool as well uh, I'd be like totally for that. I don't know any new characters for Smash I'm just excited for because the bigger the better the more the merrier. It's, it's, it's a win-win for everyone a character a new character is just it's uh, it's just gonna be fun to play as. And even additions like Echo Fighters, I think it was really clever that um, instead of making like every character on the same like level playing field, even if some are clearly clones of others, it kind of just made clear that like, oh yeah, these characters aren't taking up a slot that someone else could have. These are just like easier to make. So we thought we'd give you more characters, even if they have similar move sets to. Um, already existing characters. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's like a lot of what I wanted to say. I don't want to drag this out, drag this video out for too long. But I just wanted to like talk about Smash, to be honest, because just have like so excited for it, and there aren't that many people I know who I I can talk to about it. So why not talk to a camera, and then people people might watch it. What you, what you're saying? Maybe. I don't know. I just don't want to like end this video and like have things after while I'm editing and be like, oh no, why didn't I say that? I just, 
this is the most important thing. How could I miss it out? Um, but yeah, I think for the most part, I'm just like, I'm just, yeah, I'm just really hyped for Smash. I just can't really wait for it. Uh, like I said before, I like played the Wii U version and the 3DS version a whole lot, like a hundred hours on both of those, I think. And, uh, that was, yeah, that was just like a game that I was definitely really excited for and I played quite a lot of. And just having a new version of that for the Switch is just, ooh, it's cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty nice. Oh yeah, one of the other things I guess I forgot to say was like, one of the reasons why people were so disappointed with the Direct was the stupid Grinch leak, which I didn't pay any attention to because all leaks are most likely fake. But basically this Grinch leak was just like this really convincing leak of promotional material for Smash and it had like all these new characters like uh, Banjo-Kazooie and Ken from Street Fighter who actually got confirmed. So like lots of people actually thought this leak was real and uh, yeah I don't know I just found that so ridiculous that I, f I found it kind of funny that it did look a bit believable but it just why would you take a leak seriously? That's a shame on you. Shame on you if you took that leak seriously. Don't ever take leaks seriously. Another thing that's like kind of happened that I think I, f I should briefly touch on, which uh, I won't let like ruin the game for me or like make me too sad or anything, just because I'm too excited for this game to like let any anything really get me down about it, is uh, lots of people have been pirating it and like hacking their switches to play it early, which is just so scummy don't do that that's bad please don't do that i don't know how, why i would have to explain don't do that like so many people have worked really hard to make this new game smash ultimate and to just like completely disregard that if you are like a fan of this game to just like go out of your way to get it early and play it before everyone else and like whether you whether you buy the game or not it's just it's not a cool thing to do, in my opinion. Don't do that, please. Um, I mean, the game comes out, so it's a bit late to say that. But that was a bit that was a bit upsetting. That was a bit weird. I don't know why so many people did that. This is such a new game. You can't argue at all that it's like not accessible, or you can't buy it anywhere. Like with some really old games, or like virtual console games that are dubbed abandonware because you can't find them anywhere except for like maybe really hard to find physical copies on ebay and then you need the original console and all this stuff that's not that's not like this situation at all smash is smash is going to be everywhere you'll be able to buy it really easily go buy it go support the people who made it don't get it for free and early anyway i don't want to end it on too much of a negative note i just thought i'd mention that like don't hack your switch to get it early maybe but yeah, otherwise I'm super excited to play Smash Ultimate. Um, uh, I hope like you guys are excited for it too maybe. I hope you enjoyed this video a bit of just me rambling about Smash for a bit. Um, and yeah, I hopefully, hopefully I'll make more videos on Ultimate when it actually comes out and when I actually get it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video in any way, please drop a big blue thumbs up down below. If you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Haha, <laughs> wink. You see what I did there? Smash. Smash that subscribe button. I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye.